Tray Selection Selecting the proper tray is very important. Depending on an individual patient's mouth, you can choose from small, medium, large, to extra large Dentka trays. Always verify the tray size in a patient's mouth. In case a minor adjustment is needed, use heat to modify the shape of a Dentka tray. Making the Maxillary Impression The Maxillary Dentka tray consists of two pieces, the anterior piece and the posterior piece. Make sure the posterior piece is securely attached to the anterior piece. Completely fill the maxillary dentka tray utilizing fast setting heavy or medium body PBS impression material. Carefully insert the tray into the patient's mouth. To help with the complete seating of the customized dentka tray, there will be finger spots on the back of the tray that allows you to apply pressure in the correct position. Firmly press the finger spots at the back of the tray to seat it completely. Once the tray is seated, perform border molding procedures. First, we recommend the patient to open their mouth wide and then close their mouth. Second, have them move their jaw side to side. Third, pull the patient's right cheek out and down. Fourth, pull the patient's left cheek out and down. Fifth, gently pull the upper lip downward so the membranous attachments and frenums are activated. Repeat these border molding movements three to four times until the material is set completely. Setting time varies from different manufacturers, so please check your PBS impression material instructions. Once the material is set, remove the tray and check the impression. There are two areas you need to check. One, the edges of the Dentka tray should not be visible through the impression material. If you see any plastic edges through the material, it means the tray is touching the soft tissue. If it does, simply remove it by using a slow speed hand piece before taking the wash impression. The second area you need to check for is if all the landmarks are duplicated. This includes the post dam area, hamular notch, palatine fovea, incisive foramen, and the frenum areas. To make the wash impression, we recommend using fast setting light body PBS material. Lightly cover the entire area with fast setting light body PBS material to repeat border molding procedures. Making the mandibular impression. The mandibular dentka tray consists of three pieces. Make sure the posterior pieces are securely attached to the anterior piece. Completely fill the mandibular dentka tray utilizing fast setting heavy or medium body PBS impression material. Carefully insert the tray into the patient's mouth. To help with the complete seating of our customized dentka tray, there will be finger spots on the back of the tray. Firmly press the finger spots at the back of the tray to take the final impression. Once the tray is seated, perform border molding procedures. First, ask the patient to stick their tongue out and then towards the corners of their mouth. Second, ask the patient to say O oh, to squeeze in both cheeks to get the distal buccal corners while the patient's mouth is completely relaxed. Third, pull the patient's right cheek. Fourth, pull the patient's left cheek. Fifth, gently pull their lower lip upward so the membranous attachments and frenums are activated. Repeat these border molding movements three to four times until the material is set completely. Setting time varies from different manufacturers, so please check your PBS impression material instructions. Once the material is set, remove the tray and check the impression. There are two areas you need to check. One, the edges of the Dentka tray should not be visible through the impression material. If you see any plastic edges through the material, it means the tray is touching the soft tissue. If it does, simply remove it by using a slow speed hand piece before taking the wash impression. The second area you need to check for is if all the landmarks are duplicated. This includes the pear-shaped pad, buckle shelf, lingual flange, and the frenum areas. To make the wash impression, 
we recommend using fast setting light body PBS material. Lightly cover the entire area with fast setting light body PBS material to repeat border molding procedures. Vertical dimension of occlusion preparation. Once you have taken both the maxillary and mandibular impressions, you need to separate the posterior pieces of the maxillary and mandibular tray using a surgical blade. Carefully cut through both of the impression material following the borderline between the anterior and posterior parts and attach the posterior parts. When separating the posterior pieces, be careful not to break the tray by bending it. Instead, wiggle it loose and gently pull it out. After you have cut and separated the posterior parts from the anterior parts, trim the excess impression material covering the outer surfaces of both trays. This will help with the loading of the bite registration material later. Measuring the vertical dimension of occlusion and centric relation, taking bite registration. Recording vertical dimension of occlusion is easy utilizing our customized Dentka tray. To assemble the built-in intraoral gothic arch tracer, first insert the center pin holder into the mandibular tray. The bevel should go downwards and you should hear clicking once you insert it. Now gently screw in the plastic center pin. Make sure the pointed part is aiming upwards. It is always best to set the center pin to the highest point before measuring the vertical dimension of occlusion. Make sure the posterior parts are detached. After inserting both the maxillary anterior portion of the tray and the mandibular anterior portion of the tray in a patient's mouth, simply rotate the threaded pin clockwise until the patient's lips naturally touch each other without any force. Check to see that the lips do not have any tension and the patient is not forcing their lips to close. If the patient has an existing denture, you can use the existing vertical dimension of occlusion by adjusting the center pin to match the predetermined vertical dimension. If necessary, you may cut the center pin in half to shorten the pin. After cutting the pin in half, you can smooth out the protruding pin thread with a slow speed hand piece for the patient's comfort before taking the centric relation record. Once you have determined the patient's vertical dimension of occlusion, you will be able to identify the centric relation position by conducting a simple jaw movement. Have the patient move their jaw forward and back several times to identify the most posterior position. Once you have identified the most posterior position, inject the bite registration material in between the arch. This is the patient's centric relation location. After the bite registration material is set, remove the entire piece from a patient's mouth. Send these impressions as attached right after removing the entire piece from a patient's mouth without detaching any parts. Measuring the upper lip length. Utilizing the Dentka lip ruler or any lip ruler you have, measure the upper lip length. Measurement should be from the incisive papilla to the upper lip line which will be needed for the online order process. After placing your order online, pack everything and ship them to Denka Incorporated. In the box you are shipping to Denka, you should have 1. Anterior parts of both maxillary and mandibular impressions with the bite registration material in between. 2. Detached posterior parts of both maxillary and mandibular impressions.